Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is The Bat Brand, and I'm here today in my car. Why? Well, I thought before I go see my buddy Clint, I'm going to um, give you a little update on what today, uh, what I did today. Um, but anyway, um, well, the other reason was um, I watched Dragon Ball Super Episode 130, and let me just tell you, what a great episode. What a, f what a great episode. 131 is going to be great. Um, but I'm going to just jump right into the review um, and preview for next episode and um, see what you guys think. Now, anyway, um, it all starts out with um, Goku. Um, he just powered up and he right after he did all that stuff to Jiren, um, he beat the crap out of him too um, in the beginning of the fight. Um, and out of nowhere, Jiren just, just says, you know what, if the strength's all I got, if you don't have strength, you have nothing, and, and he goes, family, friends, it means nothing to me, as long as I have strength, uh, justice means nothing to me, um, just knowing that being strongest is all that matters, and he, he just goes into this, he, he he reaches into this hidden power I guess he had and he awakens it and um he suddenly gets evenly matched with Goku um but still Goku is fighting uh, fighting him he's he, he there's times where Jiren had him on the ropes and stuff but Goku came around and ended up hitting him back and um did some he he was doing, even with all the stuff, even the power-up Jiren had, Goku was still overpowering him. And then Jiren does something really, really foolish. Like, they, well, before that happens, Jiren does this blast on him, and he no almost, almost knocks Goku out or something and knocks him down, and it shows all the flashbacks of, like, uh, Belmond says, like, okay, it's over now, Jiren's beat him. And they said, oh, no, I pick, uh, Vegeta and Piccolo's like, no, no, he has something Jiren doesn't. He has something to fight for. And it shows all these scenes of, like, from Dragon Ball with Krillin all the way up to 18, 17, um, and Frieza, how he, he, and they said he just draws people around him and people to support him and just people just, just from fighting them, that they become closer to him, um, and that's what made me think Frieza at the end of this tournament is going to be an ally. I know for a fact, just by them saying that, Frieza is going to be an ally to the Z Fighters. I see it happening. I know it's going to happen. It, I, uh, I, I, I'm just got this feeling that they're going to do it again. Um, but we have a moment where Jiren then decides, I'm going to. He goes, that could be erased easily. Your friends and your family. Strength doesn't erase. And to prove that to him, he throws a energy beam at everyone in the stands, trying to kill everyone. And let me just say, how he wasn't... How did that that Zeno-sama and, and the two Zenos and everyone didn't... Uh, um, didn't... Uh, how Zenosama didn't um, literally erase Jiren the moment he did that is beyond me. I don't know why that wasn't that did not happen, um, because Frost aimed at the them in the stands, aimed at people in the stands, and he was erased immediately. Just saying. Um, so if Frost did that, why didn't Jiren get eliminated? I don't know. I guess because he's Jiren, but I guess he's the Brock Lesnar of Dragon Ball Z Super. Just saying. But anyway, he there when Goku like deflects a blast and all you hear is this <clears throat> like something was hurting him or like a tensed up feeling. Uh, but we'll get into what happened that at the end, which I was confused about. But um. He then flips out. He says, you would throw all that away for strength, but don't you dare, dare hurt my friends and family. And 
he just goes berserk, beats Jiren down, and Jiren's a he. Jiren is done for. Jiren's done. Like he's down. He's out. He he he. Goku has him right where he wants him, and right when Goku's about to knock him off, he's getting ready to do this blast to finish him, and he just falls to the ground of this energy. I forget what we said it was. We said it was the the limit breaking power of the gods or something was harming him uh, or something I, I was confused like I, I don't understand i guess cuz he was maybe immortal or something he and he broke into the realm of gods that that he he broke the limits of a god that maybe he maybe that was a punishment or something i i don't know what happened but Jiren then, Belmont says, now's your chance, Jiren blasts him off, take him off the stage, and he hits him, and at this point, at this point, where I'm thinking, Goku's done, oh my god, it's over, this is how they're gonna end it, nope, then there's a little blast that pushes Goku off into another pillar, or another rubble stand, and guess who comes up? yet again. Good old Frieza. Frieza's still there. And then, out of the rubble, comes Seventeen, who we thought was freaking dead. So, Seventeen's now miraculously still alive, which then they're like, oh my god, Seventeen, you're alive? Oh yeah, it was a gamble, but yeah, I'm alive. Really? You don't get into the detail of why he's alive. Um, but, you can tell they're rushing it. But, Frieza... 17, and whatever's left of Goku is left to fight Jiren with maybe 30 seconds left in the tournament, and Belmont's scared. Belmont says, you need to finish this now. Like, you're at a disadvantage now. Like, you don't knock... They thought it was a one-on-one -on -one battle. He doesn't knock all three of them off in 30 seconds. They lose, because they have the Tumbers advantage. So all I gotta do is really hold Jiren off for 30 seconds, game over, Universe 7 wins... Um, and they get the, um, they get the Super Dragon Balls and get a wish. Um, then, uh, I saw the preview for 131, and let me just say, um, it seems like Goku's still gonna get a little bit in the fight. Um, it seems like 17 and Frieza are gonna work together, and what I saw from leaked images, it seems like 17's probably gonna get knocked off. Um, and what's going to happen is Frieza and Goku, of all people, are going to work together and they're going to beat Jiren together. Which I called it. I called it. Um, but um, it seems like Jiren's going to go uh, full power one more time. Unless what it seems. But there's been times they have made... Um, put images out there like that, and it's not really been in the episode, so I'm not putting too much into it. Um, and then, then it, then Super Centron's in it, which is showed in the, um, they showed in the preview. Uh, Zeno is, in, the two Zenos are next to Super Centron, and probably Goku's gonna get his wish, because from what they say, uh, something that'll make all universes tremble, um... Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, it's probably a good thing from what they're saying. Um, Goku's going to probably bring back all the universes. Um, but there was one little thing I did notice in the tra in the trailer for the last episode. Until they come back and for while they go before they go away for a while and come back. Um, the Grand Priest. There's something kind of evil hidden agenda he's got, or. He's being controlled by Zamasu or something. I wonder if Zamasu isn't done. If Zamasu's not dead or if it's another evil Supreme Kai. Because... Or just an evil or an evil Supreme Kai from another universe or something. Because... The look in the preview for the 131 that Grand the Grand Priest gave whoever was giving the wish was a look of evil. Like, that was a glare and a smile of evil. Don't... I've watched enough Dragon Ball Z and enough anime to know that is a look of evil, and that guy's going to... 
if that guy's going to be evil or do something. That, Toei, if that's what you want to do, set up for the next... That's, Dude, that's a good way to set it up. Make the Grand Priest the villain for next time. If they're That's why they're going away. They're trying to come up with new ideas, probably. Um, and their goal is they want to end where Dragon Ball Z ended. So basically, Oob's a teenager. Well, where GT started, basically. Um, so Oob's a teenager. He's training with Goku. He's mastered his training. That's, a, that's what they want to end at. Um, but I honestly think... In the next episode, we're going to have Goku is going to wish act all the universes and he's going to resurrect Frieza and Frieza is probably going to be his be work with them now or Frieza is just going to go train so he can battle against him and get stronger um, to battle against Goku because Goku gets people to join together with him. Obviously, if you guys know when he battles them for some reason. Um, so, yeah. That's my speculation, though, um, my speculation and my review, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and please also uh, comment, like this video, subscribe for more content that I'm putting out. I just put out a live stream. Oh, and also, I, I'm, I just want to also publicly say I apologize. I'm sorry for the the. the internet difficulties it happened to me it must have been playstation because it happened to me not once but it happened to me twice while i was trying to stream yesterday and i actually know it happened three times um because i tried to do it earlier in the day and it did it again so i'm very sorry about the technical difficulties that i've had on wednesday on on saturday and last saturday um i hope you guys understand and um and as always, stay awesome, Dark Knights.